a high speed drill reaches 2400 rpm in 0 0.55 seconds what is the drill's angular acceleration so for to find its angular acceleration here we've given we've been given this 2400 rpm which in essence is its angular velocity it's omega but we measure angular velocity in radians and this is in revolutions per minute and we're angular velocity is in radians per second so the equation for angular velocity is 2 pi f frequency to radians per minute and we're going to change that to seconds so we do revolutions over minutes times minute divided by 60 seconds because 60 seconds in a minute which we get 40 revolutions per second times 2 pi because right we have a circle here's a good right a circle right a circle it goes around in radians one one revolution is one whole rotation around a circle and that's measured in two pi radians and that's what we measure our angular velocity and angular acceleration to use to get angular acceleration we need to give our angular velocity and i'm finding this knowing since I, we have time and this rotations per minute we know that this can be used to find our angular velocity at 0.55 seconds and then we can use rotational kinematic equations which i've written down here to move over and find that angular acceleration and i picked this one here angular velocity final equals angular velocity initial plus angular acceleration t and we're going to assume where it says reaches two four in 0.55 seconds so the angular so the angular velocity at the start is going to be zero so that will cancel out so we can just divide the point our seconds by our velocity to get our angular acceleration and we end up getting 600 460 radians per second squared ends up being our angular acceleration and then b how many revolutions does it turn during the first 0.55 seconds again we we want to know how far how many times it went around in circles in that first 0.55 seconds and we can we are, we're going to do this by using our kinematics again. And I right, just picked this one. Radians equals angular velocity initial times time plus one half angular acceleration times time squared. Right, This is going to cancel out because initially it was zero. And it was one half. 460, our angular acceleration we found in the last problem, times the time, 0.55 squared, which ends up equaling 69.115. But remember... From the same time this is now asking us in revolutions okay the key word here with this rpm revolutions we how many revolutions does it turn but we're fine this kinematic equation gives us the radian so how many radians it went in that 0.55 seconds was 69.115 and the same way with our angular velocity was 2 pi f we'll just divide it by 2 pi last time we multiplied by 2 pi this time we're going to divide by 2 pi and we get 11 revolutions